Hello beautiful people. How are you all doing today? You are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma. I'm glad to have you on my channel today. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, hello. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. Okay guys, um, today I want us to talk. I want us to interact. I want us to share ideas like we've always done. I'm going to be teaching about witches. You understand? Because of a question that came to me from one of you on this channel. The guy was asking me the best option to handle witches. I let him understand that it depends on the formation and strength of the witches involved. Yes. Which is out of different categories. There are ones that are so minute. There are ones that you can use products and chase them away and they will leave you. But there are ones that are so stuck, they will stick with you, they will stick to you because of what has happened in the past or what is happening now. Or maybe your parents, your great grandparents were witches. Do you understand? He was asking me the best option to use. Is it to tie the witches? and send them to the bush? Is it to use, use products on them? Or is it to embrace the deity for protection? So I told the guy that this is a very sensitive um, topic, um, but I have to, I will definitely teach it on this channel so that everyone will, will learn. Because I'm sure that it's not only him that is facing these challenges. There are several other people who are experiencing the same Thing, and they are so confused in fact some of them have done a lot some of them have gone for protection imagine someone whose who's, um, great grandparents were witches trying to tie witches it will not be easy it won't be easy like that because just like um, my people he who shoots dies by, by the gun and then you know, by the sword, by knife, killings. I don't know how to put it in English. But I know I, I know you have a clue. You have an idea of what I'm trying to talk about. Now, these are options. Great options. These can work for Mr. A, but it might not work for Mr. B. This is why you see people doing a lot of things to be free from spiritual attacks, from spiritual problems. Yet... Yeah, it's not yielding any positive results. So that has brought us to this um, topic today. I said I'm going to make it a general and public video so that everyone will learn. So that I will tell you exactly what to do and how to go about it. Okay? Now, if your parents were witches, were into witchcraft, it passes on to you. It continues with the lineage. Except you have gone through the process of excommunicating yourself, of exempting yourself from their activities. And I tell you that exempting yourself is not an easy job. It takes someone who is spiritually strong, who has the, the strength spiritually to stand them and then you need to pay them off you pay them you pay them up. you pay them off you don't go about tying witches when you know that your great grandparents or maybe your parents some of you your parents are sad now just that i don't like talking about it but some of you your some of your parents are still in this in one way or the other, they call it a cult. They call it yes. All these things are all these things, all these things are confraternities. All these things are cults, and you don't know the way they operate in their cultism. You don't know the way they operate, so you can't vouch for them. Do you understand? Now let's talk about deities. What are deities? In most Africa, in most parts of Africa. In the olden days, during our forefathers, many of them suffered a lot. 
you know, many of them suffered a whole lot in the hands of the colonial masters. Most of them suffered a lot in the hands of other people, other predators, trying to, you know, grab what is not theirs, trying to take forcefully take away what belongs to them, even their lands. So some of them ran to deities. Some of them brought in deities. There is a difference between a deity that has been brought, that has been brought from another place, a foreign deity. It will require a lot from the people that brought it. And if it is not satisfied with the sacrifices they make to them, it becomes a problem. The deity has no the deity will never show mercy because it is not it is not a deity from the land. You know when it is said that if you if you if you if you anger your, your parents, if you anger your father, your father will punish you but will not kill you. Do you understand? But there are outsiders that you will do the extent you will go to the extent you've gone, you know, with your father, and the, the outsider might, you know, go very, very extreme. This is exactly, you know, um, um, the same thing with deities. Do you understand? In Africa, that is what they, you, they know. Most parts of Nigeria, though, most parts of Africa, many of them, during before the coming of the missionaries, there were nothing like religions. There were nothing like um, churches, Muslims, and all that. It was only traditional way of worshipping. That was what they knew as at then. And that traditional way of worshipping has given, gives them, permits them to deal with deities. Do you understand? Many families today are going through a lot because of what they have brought upon themselves by destroying those de deities. The truth is that they have destroyed the, the symbols of those deities, but the deity still stay, still lives there because the deity is not even a human that you can touch. The deity is a spirit. Do you understand? So by the time they have called, maybe they've come called for destruction, they remove all those things. The deity, the deity starts operating with anger in that family. It can bring blockage. It can attract blockage. It can attract marital delays can attract untimely death it can attract a whole lot so what happened during that time some of your great grandfathers some of your forefathers they embraced such deities for protection do you understand for protection and then they now told the deity that if you protect if the deity is able to protect them against those ones that want to kill them, that want to take them forcefully, that want to take what really belongs to them, that they are going to be sacrificing so, so, so thing for the deity. Have you seen the connection between them and deity? Deity, some deities are water, rivers, deity, apple, deity. Do you understand? Some is, is the earth deities okay these deities now it now becomes a covenant they make a covenant and say that you are going to protect us while we sacrifice this sort of thing to you now your ancestors your your forefathers never knew that there would ever be anything called the colonial masters called the coming of the the, the missionaries when this were going on. That was when they were actually practicing true spirituality because that was what they knew. That is what the land accepts. I want to tell you something. The Westerners have witches too. It is not only in Africa that you see witches. We have the white witches. We have the red witches. We have the black witches. Now, the white witches are what we call the Awo in the land, in this Africa. We call it the Awo, the destiny helping spirits. They are harmless. They are very harmless. They are there 
to support your dreams. They are there to direct you. They are the spirit of revelation. That is why a white man can have the knowledge of creating things, knowledge of creativity. But in Africa, we run away from our destiny helping spirits. We call it the spirit of madness because of the name as it, in, as it implies. Are we ready for this discussion? The witch? Or should we just go straight to the witches that we are talking about? You know when you tell someone to go and do your album, go and do your album, the person will be like, ah, it's the spirit of madness. I don't ever want to do it. That is the spirit of creativity. It will direct you on how to be creative. It will direct you on how to be a public speaker. It will direct you on how to be a, how to be great in science and technology. It will, it will direct you on how to become that medical doctor, that surgeon that when you perfect, perform your surgery, it becomes the best surgery ever. <laughs> a lot. I have a surgeon in, the, in Nigeria here, right? This surgeon, before he performs surgery, he calls his ancestors and his spirit guides. He will use kola nut and invite them. And he has never, there has never been a recorded, a failed surgery in that hospital. He has that calling. Do you understand? But he decided to move it to become a surgeon. And he is doing it perfectly well because he, he welcomes the spirit, his spirit guides. He calls on them. But when we tell you people to acknowledge your ancestors and all that, you feel that we are deceiving you. How can we be deceiving you? <laughs> Okay, that brings us back brings us back to the topic of let's not forget we are talking about witches. Now, the guy said if he decides to run to the deity for pro for protection against these witches, what happens to his own offspring? What is is he going to be passed? Are they, is the deity going to disturb his offspring? Offsprings? I said no. I know. You are not running to the deity because you want the deity to give you money. You are not running to the deity because you want the deity to kill someone. You are running to the deity because you have a you have a, a true a justice. You have a, a you have a justified case because you want to be free. I don't want to tell you what happens between the deity and the witches, which is bigger, stronger and protective this is only this can only be achieved if you know that your parents your great grandparents they were into witchcraft you cannot tie who you are you cannot tie your 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 people because the witches are your people as a matter of fact you that is talking if this is your case you are you are a witch the bad witches are the the black witches and the red witches the black witches they will never use their they will never use their talent to do something good that is why they call them they say the black witches are bad they are evil but i'm glad there are other ones that are using their using their god-given talent to do things and to save people from dying to save people from doing from you know from sicknesses some kind of sicknesses and all that so but there are witches there are witches small small witches around that is as a result of as a result of what someone has decided to bewitch you through the use of eating food okay or maybe in the night they, they manipulate you in your dreams and all that and it becomes a problem to you those ones can be used um products just use products and they're out of your life things like the ede pokuyam things like your ogilishi things like your a lot that i've taught on this channel you can refer to it so this is it if there is any other question you want to ask me the people that can tie witches are the people that they have nothing to worry about about witches in their lineage. So because I don't want the video to be a very long one, we are going to be leaving it 
at the some point okay if there is any other question you have regarding this why don't you go ahead and ask me i will be able to answer you okay thank you very much god bless you all um don't forget to share this video invite your friends and family like this video comment you know leave a comment a sweet comment if you like what you've heard and what you've seen so that um it will be encouraging us to bring more topics like this okay god bless you and um have a lovely day see you guys in my next one bye